Hello everyone. I hope this finds you all well and warm and dry and surrounded by love and just maybe pausing to acknowledge you know, some of the benefits of all of this forced stay at homeness. So let's just take a moment to find ourselves on our mats now, drawing our awareness towards ourselves and inward so we can fuel ourselves, so we can continue to take care of all the other people in our lives that are tugging on us right now, all the worries, all the stress. So we're going to start in child's pose. And you have the choice of bringing the knees apart and the big toes together, or bringing the knees and the hips equal distance apart, beginning to, starting with the toes tucked, just kind of checking in how your body feels as the hips start to lower. And then if everything's really happy with that, untuck your toes, drop your hips to your heels, and start the process of softening and going inward using the breath as an anchoring point. Letting your practice ground you today. And as you round forward in child's pose, feel gravity, feel placement, feel your body and your mind present in one place both focusing their awareness on the breath. And just notice how it feels to be breathing today. Maybe you've been so busy you haven't paused to notice that. Notice how your breath's moving in your body. Rapid or slow. Deep or shallow. or expansive? Can you feel your breath moving in your belly? Can you feel it in the rib cage? Feel your body breathing here and now in this moment, wherever you are, whenever it is. As you start to take your awareness to your breath, begin to slow it down and begin to let your body soften its holding, especially any holding in the wall of the torso, any gripping, any clenching in the belly or the center of the chest, or the sides of the ribs. And just start to slow your breath a little bit. And as you slow your breath down, expand it into the sides of the rib cage. Let it be deep enough that you feel the belly start to move with your breath. Just take a couple more breaths there in child's pose. Keeping that sustained engagement with your breath, or keeping it sustained rather. And start to walk your fingers towards the right edge of your mat. Shift your hips over to the left. Try to level your shoulders. And see if you can find your breath in your left side body now. And take two more breaths. Maybe notice the sensations of the ribs flaring open. The sensation of your belly moving against your leg as you breathe deeply. And on an inhale, walk your hands and your hips back to center. Walk your fingers to the other side. Shift your hips to the other side. And breathe deeply, slowly, feel gravity under your hips, feel your breath move into your right side body. And take two more nice, long, slow breaths. Just feeling your body breathing. And 
and walk your hands back to center. Slowly lift yourself up onto your hands and your knees. Ground your palms, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Start to guide your hips over your knees. And as you breathe in, lift your tailbone, your breastbone, and your face. Extending breath and movement. As you exhale, drop the tailbone and slowly roll your spine up towards the ceiling. Feel the weight of the skull drop at the bottom of the breath. And inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Little cat cow, two more times. Inhale. Slowly waking up the spine, warming the muscles. One more exhalation. And on an inhale, come back to neutral. And just simply start to circle the hips. Slowly, still moving with the breath. And the circles range wider as your body feels is appropriate today. One more circle, one more breath. Pause and reverse it. One more time around. Ground your palms, ground your knees. As you exhale, drop the belly. And as you breathe in, arch your spine up towards the ceiling like your spine is a jump rope. Gently, slowly, moving with your breath. Two more times this direction. And then reversing it. Pause that, shoulders over the wrists, knees over the hips, tuck your toes under. Start to press into your hands, lift your knees, push your hands forward a little bit, feeling the palms and the fingertips engage. And take bent knee down dog. I'm pausing here for a few breaths to feel the hips stretch back as the palms press forward. To notice your shoulders, to reconnect with your breath. And as you breathe in, lengthen your legs as best you can. Roll your body forward so your shoulders come over your wrists. Pause in high plank pose. You can do this on your forearms if this is too much for your hands or your shoulders. Exhale, bend your knees, press your belly back to your thighs, drop your head. And inhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Holding. Exhale, bend the knees, send the torso back to the thighs. Rise up onto your toes, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. And start to lengthen your legs if that's available now. Always letting the spine be long before you take your legs long. And take one more breath. Look forward, pick up your right foot, step it between your hands, pause and lunge, push your heel back, draw your bust palm forward and just breathe. Press into your right foot, step the left foot forward. Slowly start to lengthen the spine. Exhale, soft knees, forward fold, letting the head drop. Lengthen your spine again. Pick up the right foot now, step it back. Keeping the toes tucked, finding lunge on the other side. You can use blocks or pillows under your hands, depending on what you have available at home. Take one more breath. Press into that foot, step your right foot forward to meet it. 
Lift up halfway, breathe in. Exhale, soften and fold forward. Allow the knees to be soft, firm the feet onto your mat, roll up, reach your arms up. Step your feet a little bit wider, bring your hands down onto your thighs as you breathe in, draw the breast one forward, reach the tailbone back. As you exhale, slowly roll your body up to standing. Inhale, reach. Exhale, roll up slow, movement, slow left. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. down alongside your body, spin your palms forward, find your feet on the floor, lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling or the sky. Feel your fingertips reach away from your shoulders, your skull reach away from your tailbone, and take two more breaths in mountain pose. Modifications of Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, slowly forward fold. Remember to keep your knees bent if your low back's tight. Lengthen your spine, rising onto the fingers or hands on the shins. As you exhale, take your hands down, walk your feet back, drop your knees, bring your body down onto your mat. Bring your palms and your elbows down onto the floor. Press down with the legs and the feet. Shrug the shoulders down. Lift the breastbone. Give your pelvis a little tilt forward so you can feel your tailbone release. Sphinx pose. Four more breaths. You can stay here, you can come down a little bit, or you can press into your hands, lift a little higher. Look up if it feels good. And as you exhale, bring your body back down. And stay right where you are, slide your fingertips out to the sides. Level the shoulders, press into the pelvis and the legs again and lift your chest off the floor, trying to keep the neck long. Take five more breaths. Two more. As you exhale, bring your body down, release your arms, drop your hips a couple times, slide your hands up under your shoulders, press down, lift your body to table pose, gently rock the hips a couple times to release those back bends. And come forward, you're welcome to take child's pose or tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back. Sinking the heels to the mat, engaging the thighs if you're doing so. Two more breaths. Look forward, walk your feet forward, lengthen your spine, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Releasing. Round two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. 
exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Take your hands down, walk your feet back, high plank pose. Drop your knees, drop your breastbone to your mat again. This time, keep the hands tucked back under your shoulders. Elbows in, legs still pressing down, pelvis in neutral. Inhale, shrug the shoulders down, slowly lift the breastbone. And as you exhale, come down, cobra pose, moving it three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Hold it if you can. Two more breaths. And slowly release it. Send your arms back, turn your face in the opposite direction, and rock your hips. Slide your hands under your shoulders, come to table pose, inhale. Tuck your toes, gently lift your knees, lift your hips. We're stretching the tailbone away from the body, keeping the knees bent. So you can gently lengthen the spine. Drop your heels when you're ready. Two more breaths, down dog. Keeping the pose active, feel the rib cage. Feel your thigh muscles. Notice which hands have here. So much to think about. Step forward, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, step back, high plank pose, one more back strengthening series, drop the knees, bring your body all the way down again, take your arms back, level the pelvis, tip the pelvis forward just a tiny bit. Draw the shoulder blades together, start to lift the chest, start to engage the legs, rise up, and hold it. Take a big breath in, as you exhale, slowly bring it down, and as you breathe in, lift it up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release it one more time, I promise. Inhale up, reach the fingers back, maybe clasp the hands. One more big breath. And gently, slowly bring it down. Hands under the shoulders, lifting through high plank pose or through table pose. And gently, slowly softening the knees as the hips reach back, lengthening the spine, start to drop the heels. Just take a couple breaths to settle it. On your inhale, look forward, step your feet forward, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Step your feet about hips distance apart. Let your body drape forward, grab your elbows. And take a few breaths in right now. One more breath. Release your hands, slowly come back up. Come back to the front of your mat. Ground your feet, stand.
stand up tall. Reach your arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Sink your hips. Chair pose. Lifting the tailbone. Trying to lift the torso up. Weight in the heels. One more breath. Exhale. Inhale. Half lift. And as you exhale, pick up the right foot, step it back. And drop your knee, press into your foot, reach up. Let your tailbone descend. And then maybe sink in, knee over the heel on the forward leg. Looking up, but keeping the neck long. One more breath. On your exhale, bring your hands down, tuck your toes, slide that foot in a good little bit, keep the heel lifted, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, bow forward. Take one more breath. Lift the spine, soften your knees, Right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up, reach up. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Drop your knee, untuck your toes, rise up. Pausing, if this is enough. We're sinking in. Letting the breastbone rise, stretching through your fingertips. One more breath. Press into your foot. Bring your hands down again. Tuck your back toes, slide that foot in, keep the heel lifted, lengthen, exhale, fold. One more breath. Lengthen, take your hands down, step that foot back now, come to high plank pose, drop your knees, drop your breastbone and your chin down, keeping the hips lifted. Draw your belly onto the floor, rise up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. As you breathe in, swing the right leg back. As you exhale, draw it forward, tap your nose, with your knee. Look forward, place that foot on the floor. Soften your back knee now, reach up, cross a lunge. Neutral pelvis, powerful back leg. One more breath. back behind your back, tip forward. Take two more breaths. Bring your hands down, step back. High plank pose, chaturanga now or cobra. Inhale, exhale. Forward, lift the left leg now. Inhale, reach up. Press the lunge, other side. Making the back leg work. Low belly active. Steady, stable breath. 
on your exhale, reach your arms back, bring the breast bone forward, breathe. As you exhale, bring your hands down, step your back foot forward, lengthen your spine, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, sink your hips, reach your arms up, and exhale, good, inhale, reach up, sink your hips, exhale, fold, Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Step forward. Reach up. Warrior one pose. Back foot on the floor at an angle. Lengthen that leg now, turn to face the opposite direction. Warrior one, other side, breathing. Good. Lengthen that leg, turn sideways. Take your arms wide, take your hands down onto the floor. One hand under the face, slowly reach up with your right arm. Bring that hand down as you exhale. Reach up with the left arm. Great place to use something under that bottom hand, even a juice can. I still make those. One more breath. Exhale, bring your hands down, lengthen your spine, both hands on the floor, two more breaths. Lengthen as you inhale, exhale, take your hands to your hips, rise up, stretch the shoulders back. Lift the breastbone, exhale, back to neutral, reach your arms out, inhale. Turn your right foot forward, bend your knee, sink in, warrior two pose. Five stable, steady breaths. One more breath. Start to lengthen that leg now. Bring the back foot in a tiny bit to shorten your stance. Reach, lengthen. Take Trikonasana. Tucking the chin to look up or looking down to protect the neck if it's tender. One more breath. Slowly rise up, inhale. Exhale, turn your feet, sink in. Warrior two, other side. One more breath. Start to lengthen that leg, reach. Get extension in the rib cage and the leg. Stretch up. Feel the fingertips reach from each other. Bottom rib cage just as long as the upper rib cage. One more breath. Slowly lift. Exhale, come back to center. Clasp your hands behind your back now. Draw the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Exhale, extend forward, reach your arms back. If it's comfortable, let the head drop. Soften the knees if your low back's what's impeding your progress here. 
Letting the arms soften to wherever they're comfortable for you. Reaching up, maybe. One more breath. As you breathe in, rise up. Throw the shoulders together, lift the heart. Exhale, come back to neutral, reach out. Turn your opposite foot forward, bend your knee, warrior two pose. And keep that knee bent, drop your hands, stretch back. As you exhale, bring your forearm to your thigh. Extending from your back foot through your fingertips, one unbroken line of energy. You're welcome to take any modification of this posture, bringing the hand down. One more breath. Lifting, rising up on an inhale, lengthen your leg, switch your feet, bend your knee, warrior two. Opening the knee over the heel. On your next exhale, drop your arm, reach back. Don't know if I did that on the other side. Bring your forearm down, reach up, and exhale. Extended side angle. Again, taking any modification of that, your body so desires on this day on your mat. sets of toes inward. Take your hands onto your hips now. Lift your breastbone. Exhale, extend forward. Let the head release. Elbows lifted. One more breath. Forward, reach your arms up, find warrior one again. Release your arms now, slide your back foot in, reach your arms behind your back, square the hips forward. Take reverse prayer pose if that's a reality, if you're not holding your elbows. Inhale, look up. Test your balance, exhale, start to extend forward. Drawing the shoulder blades together, feel that hip reach back. Long spine from the tailbone through the base of the skull. Now you have the option of releasing the arms here or just softening that knee, lifting. Warrior three. Soften your knees, step back, release your arms, reach up. Lengthen your leg, turn the opposite direction, warrior one, other side. Start to lengthen the other leg now, sliding the back foot in, shortening the stance enough that you can draw both hips forward, elbows back, arms grabbing, or reverse prayer. Inhale, look up, feel the Thigh muscles start to work. And on your exhale, start to extend forward. Two more breaths. Drawing the shoulder blades towards each other to keep the front of the heart open. Soften your knee. You can release your hands, do supportive warrior three, or just pick your back foot up, extend, reach, breathe, bend your knees, step back, release your arms, reach up, and exhale, turn to the side, 
heel toe, your feet a little wider than your hips, reach up. So you exhale, sink your tailbone to the floor, towards the floor, bend your elbows. If you're super comfortable there, walk the feet in a little more, take your hands onto your thighs or your forearms onto your thighs. Let the tailbone sink. And sit on a block here as well for some support just to get you there. And then if your body is willing or you know you can sink into Malasana, drop your tailbone. Let your breath calm. Release your hands, walk your hands back, unwind your legs, send your legs forward, give them a little shake. Sit up nice and tall. Again, bend the knees if your back's tight or sit up on your blanket or a bolster or a pillow if you're at home. Reach your arms up on an inhale breath. Slowly start to extend forward, reaching through the fingertips. Taking the shins, the thighs, again, bending the knees so you feel the breastbone come forward. Keeping the spine long. All the way from the tailbone through the crown of the head. Two more breaths. And very slowly lift. Exhale. Slide your right foot in, tuck it close. Sit up nice and tall. Turn your breastbone towards your foot. Walk your fingers out. Again, you can stay long here, keeping the hands down. If your body allows walking your hands forward, but still keeping extension. Two more breaths. Start to lift. Slide your hands back in. Bring that foot onto the floor. Sit up nice and tall. Spine perpendicular to the floor. Reach around with one hand. Walk your other hand back. Close twist. Turning to look towards the wall or towards the back of your body if your body allows that much rotation. Three more nice deep breaths. If you're having a hard time with the breath, maybe backing out of the twist just a little bit. Rotate the head and the shoulders forward as you breathe in. Exhale, release that. Take your hands over to the sides, push into the palms, and just gently drop your head to that side of the body. Unwind your legs, send the upright leg long, now tuck the left foot in. Sit up really tall, draw your breastbone towards your leg, and walk your hands forward. And breathe. One more breath. Lengthen and lift. Slide that foot onto the floor. Sit up tall again, wrapping the hand or reaching the elbow around. Both sitting bones are down. And on an exhale, turning, rotating. Two more breaths. Slowly turn forward, unwind the spine, and bring the soles of the feet together. Maybe bring the hips towards the heels. If your knees are up like this, sit up on a pillow or bolster, or a couple of those. Make your 
spine long first. All the way from the tailbone through the base of the skull. And maybe tip forward a little bit. If you feel your spine starting to do that, lengthen. Stay where you are. Be patient with yourself. body allows letting the exhale breath and gravity work together to pull the body closer. Two more breaths there. On your next inhale lift, slide your feet out just a little bit. Bring your elbows or your forearms down. Let your head drop forward and let your body round, but this time give up effort. Just noticing how your body and your breath respond without trying to get to any particular place. Notice where you are. And take two more breaths rounded. And slowly roll up. Take your hands onto your knees. Come down onto your back. Walk the feet wide, lean the knees on each other. And take a few more breaths. back to neutral, slowly pull your right knee in, extend the left leg long away from your body. Very gently lift your nose towards that knee. Lower your torso, breathe in, exhale, release it, release the foot, bring the other foot up to meet it. Pull the opposite foot in, extend your other leg. As you exhale, pull your nose towards your knee. Slowly come down. Drop both feet onto the floor. Knees, feet, and hips all equal distance apart. Ground the feet, snuggle your shoulders under. Tip the pelvis towards the body. Peel your spine off the mat. Slowly roll up. and breathe, bridge pose, not looking around. Two more breaths. And on an exhale, bringing it back down as slowly and gently as you can. Pause. your body sway a little bit from side to side. Pause that, bring the knees towards the armpits, turn the soles of the feet up, happy baby pose. And you can just hang out here, you can rock it a little bit. If you want one more last great little hamstring stretch, grabbing the big toes, pressing the heels away. Bring the feet in. Release your arms alongside your body. Extend your legs long. And make your way to your Shavasana. All of the advantages of being home and practicing is you can stay in Shavasana for as long as you want. Just let yourself stay there and breathe. And thanks for practicing with us today. May you all be happy. May you all be healthy. May you all be free from suffering. May you be surrounded by friends and family. 
truly appreciate these moments for what they are. Everything's gross, no matter what we're going through. I will say to you all, until next time, be well.